Hi, this is Lynette Shelley. Um, I had a lot of technical difficulties last week, so I'm going to do this studio tour thing again, and hopefully everybody can see it without all the buffering. If you're having a problem, just let me know, and I'll see what I can do. But in the meantime, I'm going to try and attempt this again. So this is my studio. It's in Norristown, uh, Studio 6, um, and it's in the Serene Art Studio building. And right now I'm out in the hallway, so I'm going to show you what I've got out here. Hold on. So I've got a few larger paintings. I've got a few larger paintings out here. This one's called Sleeping Stag, and it is four feet round, or four feet diameter. It's got a lot of detail work. It's one of my larger paintings. See, so here got a lot of detail on it. Now, this one, like most of my paintings, is made with ink and acrylic on wood panel. And I work in layers back to front. So what that means is generally I do the background first. Okay, after I prime the wood panel, I start on the background layer, which in this case is this green right here. And that's done with multiple layers of acrylic ink, which are these little jars of highly pigmented ink. I like them quite a bit. And I do usually use up several bottles on, on one painting. This one probably took up, this took a lot of ink. Um, and then after that layer is dry, which for a larger painting can take over 24 hours, after that's dry I usually do a little chalk sketch of what my basic composition. And they take acrylic paint and block out the forms I want to pop out from the background. So in this case we've got the deer, we've got the insects, and the birds, those all had an underpainting of acrylic paint, tree trunk. And then I take ink pen to do all the fine line detail in front, on the top of that. So all these little cross hatching right here with the ink pens, that's all done by hand, each stroke one at a time. And obviously it's a time consuming process, but I, I enjoy doing it. It's sort of meditative. And then after all that's done, I varnish the painting, which basically enhances the colors and gives it a nice uh, glossy finish and it protects it against UV light. I also wire the back of the painting so you can hang it straight on a wall. This one's called Dark Horse. Uh, I made it this past year, but I've yet to have a chance to show it out anywhere because of the, you know, the coronavirus and a lot of shows canceled. So some of the places this was supposed to go to it never made it. But hopefully in 2021, you'll be seeing this guy coming around. So this one's kind of cool. It's got a, this is three feet diameter. We've got the horse, and it lets in the background bleed through to kind of show like a, kind of a cool pattern on the horse. And then I did all this crazy stuff. Got a rabbit. If you look, there's all these kind of like little drawings, with the drawings on top of the painting. Um, got a crow, and then there's a stag in the background there. Okay, so I'm going to head now into my studio, so you can see the studio proper. So this building is actually pretty cool. It's a top floor of a mixed-use building, and there are seven studios here, and I believe one is still left, which is Studio 5, so if you're looking for a studio, you could be my neighbor. And here is my studio, Studio 6. I share it with my band, Green Cathedral. So they have one half and I have another half. And I've been here almost two years, in uh, February, probably two years. And I've been busy working. Um, over the past year, I've made about 135 paintings. Now, not all of them are large. Many of them have been smaller. I've been working a lot on a lot of miniature paintings this year, starting at about 5 by 5 inches. I made some large paintings as well, and I'm going to do a little tour here and show you some of the things I've been working on. 
And if you're interested in buying any of my paintings or just looking at more of my paintings in general, you can go to my website at lynetteshelley.com or you can email me at lynette at lynetteshelley.com. And if you have any questions, you can post them on this uh, Facebook Live video, and when I'm done talking, I'll get back and try to answer them. Or if you type them right now, maybe I can answer them. I don't know. Depends how multitasking I can be today. <laughs> so we were talking about little paintings before. This is an example of a little painting I just finished. It's six by six inches. Um, it's on wood panel. I haven't wired the back yet. Uh, which I do with most of my paintings, just so they can hang better on the wall. But I literally just finished it the other day, so I still need to do that. This is a beautiful Luna moth. And this piece is also new. This is 11 by 14 inches. See, it's got a couple deer and a crane, or possibly a heron in the back. Try to do a little more landscape details on this one. And here's another new painting. It is called Red Sky Jumping Trout. Um, this is part of a new um, thing I've been doing. I've been doing these kind of scroll paintings. This is the third one. It's a smaller one. The first two I did are twice as long as this. They are 18 inches wide by about 41 or 42 inches long. Um, and they are currently at Exhibit B Gallery in Soderton as part of a big uh, group juried show. And you can go to their website at exhibitbgallery.com and you can see everything on the show and you can actually shop online through that as well. Or you can visit the gallery. It is in Soderton. If you go to my website, at lynetteshelley.com and click on the events tab in the menu you can see where it's located and any other information as well as links to the page. So this particular one yeah, I decided to make it half size from the other scroll paintings so it could maybe get a little more uh, different price point and also you know depending on the space you have in your studio in your space in your home you know you might want a smaller piece. Um, not that this is small this is 18 inches wide by about 20, 20, 20 or 21 inches long. I have to measure it more exactly. But um, you can see here it's got these wooden, they're called rail hangers. I did order some custom walnut wood and brass rail hangers to display these with, but um, they're made by an artisan out in Ohio. But due to the mail being backed up, um, I should have gotten them a week ago. I'm still waiting on them, so for right now, you can look at this with this uh, more basic um, rail hanger, which is fine, but I wanted to get a little something nicer, a little more pizzazz for when I show this out again. But anyway, this is a new painting, it's a couple weeks old. You can see it's a nice vivid red. And some of these paintings you got to see in person just because the color subtlety is sometimes lost a little bit in photographs and and videos. But this is a really nice piece, um, especially for people who like fish. These are two trout. And if you can see, the scales have silver on them. Like little silver accents, which you can see in certain lights. And of course, we've got the beautiful blue dragonfly and the stylized waves. Then another new painting I have, uh, this, this one is again uh, maybe three weeks old, two weeks old, I did it in November. Um, this is called A Crown of Flowers and features an elk, as well as tons of fanciful flowers. And you can see some of these paintings, I put like a border on them, with all kinds of fun stuff in the sides. I like doing these a lot. They're, they're really fun to do. Lots of little, little tiny pictures in them. The flowers are nice. And 
And again, this is on wood panel. This painting is 30 by 30 inches, so it's a nice size. Another large painting I got here that I did back in September. Which some of you who came out to the studio tour may have seen this. Um, I just finished it that week. Uh, it's 30 by 40 inches. This is From Feather to Flame and Birth to Bloom. And it features a phoenix bird amongst a vase of flowers. And then you can kind of see on the vase itself are two more phoenix birds, like painted phoenix birds, as well as a lot of design, designed flowers versus the quote-unquote real flowers. Also this year, uh, probably about the past year and a half, I started working on these round paintings. Um, this is one I did this year. I call, they're part of my song series. I call them all, like, you know, this is frog song. This is koi song. This is fox song. They're all part of a, they're all basically my song series of animal paintings. And these are basically, I took a wood panel in this case, this is a 12-inch uh, diameter panel, and I mounted it to a reversed 18-inch diameter panel as I flipped it around and basically gessoed the inside and then painted the inside of the panel and then did all this design work on the with white ink. And I think it's kind of different looking um, in a nice way. And it gives a lot of dimension, dimension uh, on a wall. I think it looks really nice. It's unusual and uh, I don't know, I like it. Hopefully other people do too. There's some more fish here, koi's. And you can see you got the field flowers out here and as you go down here below the fish I've got more fish. There's always lots of neat things. Like this rabbit here. You got insects. Down there you got a little mice mouse hiding. And of course the wildflowers. Here's a couple knit, um, smaller paintings. This one, um, Grasshopper in the Garden, is 10 by 10 inches. And it also has what I call Fosaic, which is this right here. Uh, Fosaic is basically watercolor paper that I hand color, cut up into little tiles, arrange on the panel, and put a clear coat of acrylic on top. And basically gives it the appearance of mosaic tile, but in actuality it's more of a collage. But I like to call it Fosaic. I think it looks pretty neat, and we'll be seeing some more examples of that in a minute. And then here's another couple smaller paintings. These are uh, four by six. And you can see these paintings are wired in the back. So they hang straight on a nail. Uh, but the smaller ones can also go on tabletop easels or on a bookshelf. They have, there's lots of possibilities with them. Or you could do like a grouping of several together if you have a larger wall or a smaller wall, they're, they're nice to kind of play up an intimate space. Here's some more little, little paintings. This is a favorite of mine. It's called Waiting for the Rain. It features a tropical rainforest frog that's found in Mexico as well as Latin, uh, other Latin American countries and some of South America, I believe. It's a green cicada. And of course, more birds, metal arc. People, a lot of people like my bird paintings. This is a metal arc. It's called Sing, Sing, Sing. It is eight by eight inches. These are a couple uh, small panels I did I didn't frame. Um, 
just offering them as is so you can frame yourself. Or maybe I'll frame them at some point and bring them out. It's a horse. I'll show you a couple examples of the Fosaic. Oh, before they do that, this is an example of panel, like after I've just done the ink backgrounds, but before I've actually started sketching out on them. So this is like, this is how it looks before I do anything. Just a plain wood panel. Or sometimes I get these ones, which are already pre gessoed And then I ink them up. And you can see this one's dry now. I've had it here for a couple days. That's 18 by 18. A couple smaller panels. This is a uh, a canvas. It's going to be another scroll painting. They're all well weak. I tend to like do a lot of backgrounds first and, and get them ready and then go ahead and start working on them on the top part. Which is what I'm going to be doing today with one of these. So, we're talking about the Fosaic. Here's some examples of the Fosaic here. So this was a sleeping summer fox. You can see this is an 18 by 18 inch panel. You can see the Fosaic all around the border here. And here's the lovely fox with a, it's a mockingbird, on top of them. Or this is called Counting Crows. And how many crows are in this piece? I, don't, I haven't counted them all, but if you get it, you can see, see how many are there. But on the side, I also have more Fosaic here, as well as with this painting here. This is called Taking Flight. It features a rabbit in the background, and then up front are a bunch of really cool butterflies taken off out of the field. And this is called Luna Rise. Features another uh, Luna Moth. And it has got some green Fosaic in it. And I'm just showing you this one because I like it. It's called Breach. And features a pod of whales. Are they breaching out of the surf or are they flying in the sky? That is up to you. So hopefully, learn some something today and uh, found something interesting. Um, once again, if you want to see my work online, go to lynetteshelley.com. I have all available work up there. Or you can email me at lynette at lynetteshelley.com. And uh, hopefully the new year will be better than 2020 has been for many people. And I just want to say happy holidays, and thank you, everyone who supported me this year. You really rock. I honestly couldn't have made it without a lot of you people, so I really appreciate that, and I just want you to know it. And uh, I hope you really enjoy the new year. Bye.